Hi everyone, this is Giovanni here at Frap Tools, and today we are checking three less conventional, four and a half less conventional FM techniques for the brain so. So as I said in other videos, Berenso has two triangle core oscillators and both of them can perform through 0FM, which means that I can listen to my yellow oscillator and perform some through 0 where I have the green oscillator modulating the yellow one, but I can also do the other way around and listen to the green oscillator and modulate it with the yellow one. So every oscillator can be both either carrier and modulator or both. So for example, I can um, create a very noisy patch by modulating the yellow oscillator with the green one. And then modulate the green one back with the yellow. As you can see, it really gets out of control because they are this is a very uh, dangerous cross modulation where both of the references are constantly being shifted but we can reach some degree of balance And I think that this can work great when we set our Falistri in Quadrature mode, where the two envelopes are locked to one another. So for example, I can use the yellow envelope to control the yellow modulation amount, and the green envelope to control the green modulation amount. So by patching the end of fall of the last envelope to the usta, I can create a clocked patch in sync with the modulation, with the cross modulation that I'm applying. But Brenso has another feature. So both of we said that both oscillators can perform through 0FM, but they can also receive external signals, which means that we can use two external signal to perform two independent frequency modulations over the yellow and the green one and so use Brinso effectively as two separate through zero FM oscillators. In this case it is um, it, it really comes in handy the separate modulation uh, controls for the FM both of them with their individual CV so we can really um, uh, uh, split the oscillator into uh, self-sufficient halves as opposed to more conventional if you want uh, complex oscillator design where we had only one modulation index knob right in the middle so for example in this patch I have my yellow oscillator playing this sequence here and my green oscillator playing this one very low I can transpose it up so both both oscillators are playing their melody. I already tuned my Falistri up here to play in unison. So if I patch this Falistri here, 
it will be in sync with this or with this so what I want to do is to use these two falistri here as two exact copies of my brain so oscillators which we can listen like this and uh, I will then patch their bipolar output so the yellow to the yellow through zero FM input and the green to the green through zero FM input so so that I can bring in the true zero frequency modulation independently for each channel Since the two controls are independent, I can use two separate gate tracks, like for track 1 and for track 2, to trick two other envelopes, like this, and this. Another even less obvious technique for the brain so is using the green over the yellow for through zero FM. Nothing too fancy. But at this point we are going to take the green square wave output, patch it to Falistris uh, dual cascaded frequency divider and use one of these octave divisions to modulate the modulation amount at audio rate. How's that? Saturate a bit with the Batisteria channel. We can, of course, achieve a similar result by using the plain square wave output. But I think that this setup here sounds even nastier
I got this idea from another patch that I already discussed in our video about flip sync, which I will link here and in the description. But I will talk about it a little bit more also in this video. That's why I was talking about four and a half. This is like a half FM tip, half flip sync tip that I think it's worth reminding because it is very simple but very effective. And uh, I got this idea by listening to Robardic's explanation of his sync OSC design. So what I want to do is set the green oscillator to flip sync. So it resets, it flips its cycle at this, at every cycle of the yellow oscillator. And then I'm going to take the yellow oscillator square wave output patch it to Falistris uh, dual cascaded frequency divider and use the division by one octave to perform through zero frequency modulation over the green one. And then you can create this very wild FM sounds that almost remind me of vowels and this kind of thing and we can also divide by two another technique that came to my mind used the final output instead of the sine wave output because if we keep the source knob all the way to the left and the triangle shaper all the way to the left we can achieve something similar to a sine wave which we won't fold with the wave folder but we are going to keep it at its lowest value before it saturates as so to to have the cleanest possible tone and at this point we can bring in the four quadrant multiplier which introduces those very nice side bends, which we can change by changing this oscillator's frequency. And we can, at the same time, bring in the true zero frequency modulation. So this is the ring modulation and this is the true zero frequency modulation which is of course richer in tones but very different, it's somehow similar because in both cases we have one couple of sum and difference of the carrier end modulator's frequency as, si as sideband frequencies but they behave quite differently. Perhaps I will link to here and in the description I will put a a link to a frap talk where we discussed this topic more in detail anyway um, i want to use an envelope from falistri perhaps a looping envelope an lfo like this and use it to modulate this but at the same time I want to modulate in reverse the through zero frequency modulation so we can gently oscillate between those two different timbers which is something that I find quite uh, soothing and uh, my idea here is to use the end of uh, an LFO like this one to clock the Usta Like this. Let's add some reverb. And 
these were today's tips for uh, less conventional zero frequency modulation with the brain oscillator. I hope you found this video useful and I will see you next time.